This is a video of a robot-assisted radical prostatectomy. Before the operation begins, a nurse prepares the patient by wrapping the patient's legs and fixing them with straps. Measurements are made for the placement of the laparoscopic ports. The first port for the robot camera is placed in the navel with a regular 12mm laparoscopy port. There are two special ports for the robot, which are placed lateral to the rectus abdominis muscle. The last ports are two regular 12mm laparoscopy ports on the right side of the patient. These are for the assisting surgeon. Here we see the robot being rolled in place between the legs of the patient. The camera arm is attached first, followed by the two robotic surgery arms. The surgeon begins by making an inverted U incision in the peritoneum above the bladder. The surgeon sits at the console while the assistant stands on the right side of the patient. The bladder has been pushed down and the surgeon is getting closer to the prostate. Some fat is dissected and removed to gain a better view of the anterior prostate and the transition to the neck of the bladder. The endopelvic fascia on the left side is incised. The surgeon begins cutting the puboprostatic ligaments. The venous plexus is then cut directly with diathermy. Due to the pressure in the abdominal cavity, there's minimal bleeding. After cutting the venous plexus down to the anterior urethral wall, a hemostatic cross suture is placed in the venous plexus. The surgeon has now begun to cut between the prostate and the front of the bladder. The assistant is retracting the bladder to easier view the contour of the prostate and find the correct dissection path. The surgeon now approaches the urethra. The catheter which the assistant holds up with forceps, is now visible. 
The next step is to cut between the layers of the posterior bladder wall and the prostate. Here is the vas deferens, which is cut, followed by the seminal vesicles. These are often cut so the tip of the vesicles are left in place. This is to conserve the erectile nerves, which are located near the tip of the vesicles, as much as possible. Here, Denon Vier's fascia is open, and a space is made between the posterior part of the prostate and the rectum. The nerve sparing dissection of the side ligaments to the prostate has begun. The surgeon uses only cold scissors. Bipolar diathermy is used only in an emergency. Clips are often used on the side ligaments, but mainly only cold scissors blunt dissection. The surgeon has now reached the apex of the prostate and cuts the urethra close to the prostate. Only scissors and no diathermy are used. The posterior urethral wall is then cut and the prostate is free. The prostate is placed in an endo bag and remains in the abdominal cavity until the anastomosis is finished and the surgery is concluded. We can see the neurovascular bundles on both sides. They look intact. The surgeon then begins making the anastomosis with biosyn 2O and a knot in the middle. Continuous sutures are made. This technique is named after a Belgian surgeon named Van Veldhoven and is used by many surgeons around the world. After the knot is made, the surgeon tests the anastomosis with about 120 milliliters of saline. If the anastomosis is tight, a drain is usually not installed. Here is the incision in the umbilicus where the plastic bag with the specimen is removed. While this is being done, the nurse dismantles the robot and prepares it for the next procedure. 